Meanwhile, let's get... Welcome back to Novice Explorer Radio. What can we expect today, Margaret? It begins with a bird's eye view of the frozen Pyrenees as they make their way towards the Spanish sunshine. Oh, lovely. So the last time you saw us, we had a bit of an epic fail on the Pyrenees trying to find um, a certain place to stay. But after we left you, we found this really lovely campsite and managed to get a much needed shower after searching for one for about three days. So this spot has been really cool, quite literally, but today is a bit of a nicer day, thankfully. So we're gonna get some driving underneath our belts today and we have to make it into Spain. We have to cross the border today because that's what we told the insurers. Last task for now is to fill up on water. By now we should have really invested in a hose, but we haven't, so we have to just do our best. Hopefully we can uh, fit the tub into this. Ooh. It goes in, but it's going to be hard to get that out. <laughs> we were really looking forward to finding more sunshine as our time in France had been pretty cold, wet and grey. What a palaver, just getting a bit of water. It's definitely time that we invest in a hose because we're both struggling to get it out. But we've got water, we've got food, diesel, batteries are topped up. I'm re-energized, I'm feeling good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, feeling fruity. I'm looking forward to Spain. Yeah, so that's it. We've got a bit of driving to do. We might not film much of it unless there's some spectacular scenery, but I'm sure there will be on the way. And we've got to go through quite a long tunnel, I think. Instead of going over the mountains, we're wimping out and going underneath. At the roundabout, take the third. Exit. I think we very much learned our lesson, didn't we? Yeah. So we've just jumped out of the van to take some pictures and have a bit of rest before we jump onto the next road and head towards the tunnel across to Spain. We were in this exact spot um, a couple of days ago, I think we filmed another video and uh, there was a lot more snow then. It's quite uh, amazing how quick this bit's cleared. Next part of our journey, we are going up this pass all the way up to the top to find the tunnel. Fortunately, the roads are very, very, very clear. They take really good care of the roads. It's very safe. The tunnel at the bottom said it's open. There's a sign flashing, so that's all good. Bonus. But it's been absolutely lovely here. Hopefully it's similar the other side. Not really sure what to expect. Let's roll. So look at the landscape now, it has changed. It looks like we're in the Arctic, what's going on? It's amazing. We're about a kilometer away from the tunnel and we're just discussing the fact that we're not actually sure if it's a toll or not. Uh, Isn't that amazing? We're certainly hoping it's not, but yeah, this is, uh, this is quite incredible. One of the most... Uh, um, Speechless kid? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Trying to find a word to describe it. We haven't been on a road like this before, have we? Well, Gros Glockner was an alpine pass, but there was no, no snow. We're hoping there's pulling just before, because we want to just take some pictures and uh, make the most of the moment before we go into the tunnel. just about to enter the tunnel and there's a lovely car park that we can come and take a few snaps which we can't resist doing things like this so in the next few minutes we'll be in Spain 
We've been in France for just over a week and a half, maybe two weeks max, and it's time to learn a new language, which we're not very good at. But give it a damn good go. We'll see you on the other side, in sunny Spain. España! <laughs> Hooray! We made it through the tunnel without a hitch. It only took, what, 10 minutes? Yep. Less than that. Just over three kilometers. Absolutely fine, no problems. Uh, we did, however, encounter the roadblock at the bottom. Fortunately, the tunnel was free. But apart from that, all has gone well. And I was sort of semi-joking when I said, uh, let's go to sunny Spain, but it's absolutely glorious this side, isn't it? It is 9.5 degrees already. On the top, it was three. Yeah. And now I've said that we're in the shade of a mountain, but um, it's really clear skies. It's absolutely gorgeous when the sun comes through the windscreen. It's really quite nice and I'm definitely overdressed. But Maggie refuses to pull over so I could change my clothes. <laughs> no, she doesn't. She's a great chauffeur. One of the best. I'm really glad I hired her for this trip. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, uh, that's us for the next few kilometers. We're not sure, well, we have no idea where we're staying, particularly tonight. So the adventure starts again. So we're only about half an hour away from our destination, but it's taken us much longer than it should because we keep pulling over to have a glance at the scenery. Feels like we've travelled a long way, although we haven't really. It's just because it's been it's been cold and snowy, and now it's really sunny and hot. It just feels like we've been transported again to another place. Not really hot. It's 13 degrees. I'm hot. So anyway, we're going to find our first wild camping spot in Spain. Uh, we're hoping to go down by the river. There's a lot of uh, potential spots. It just depends whether it's busy, if we can access them. So we found a pretty amazing spot, don't you think? Just got to decide whether we're staying here or moving on. We're both a bit indifferent at the minute, aren't we? Yeah. We should be really excited because, I mean, look at it. Um, we should be really excited about the possibility of staying here, but we're not, which is an odd feeling, isn't it? Mm. We often say with these things, go with our gut. We've decided to have a cup of tea and a little rest down here, stretch our legs. Cal's gonna snap pictures. Don't say it's so blasé, that's my art. Cal, <laughs> Cal's gonna get his camera out and snap till his heart's content. What's the right phrase? It's beautiful out there, but rather chilly after a while. So we finished our coffee and we've decided to head off, as Meg said. We're not entirely wimping out, but because of the rain that's forecast, 
this could potentially be a danger zone to get stuck. So we're heading towards a car park in a quiet area, I think it is. It looks okay on the app, but as I always say, you never know until you get there. So fingers crossed, it's only gonna be a short drive away, so uh, we'll soon know. Car park option was a no-go. I think there's new uh, forbidden to camp there signs put up recently. So we've moved along a little bit and we are back in the wild, in nature, and uh, this spot's a cracker too. So we're in the van and we've just got set up. We're trying to be a bit stealthy tonight because there was a civil guard here. Civil guard. Civil guard, right at the entrance of this place. And we were going to ask if it's all right to stop. This is a uh, surrounded in nature spot on park for night, but um, the person wasn't there, the vehicle was, and they've since driven away. Um, a lot of people have stayed in. It, it, to me, it looks okay, but we just want to be sensible. So we've got the blinds on and we're hunkered down. And we will show you more of the spot tomorrow because it is really quite impressive. Very beautiful. Um, that the shots we got tonight probably wouldn't do it any justice so hopefully tomorrow we'll wake up and get some shots unless it's piddling with rain but we'll definitely do our best to capture some nice shots but me and Meg are gonna have some noodles I'm gonna put some uh, pictures on the laptop and we're just gonna chill out hopefully we'll have a good night's sleep because it's very very quiet join us next time as we explore the medieval village of Elkazar and walk along the stunning gorges as always, feel free to like, subscribe and share. And press that bell button to receive notifications each time we upload a video. Let us know what you think in the comment section below.